guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to going to episode 3 of The Millionaire Detective. We are finally back. Oh my god, it feels like it's been three years since we last saw episode 2, but I am so freaking happy. Like, mm, my Thursdays are even better with this show, and no guns life. Like, mm, thank you. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 3, and 3, 2, 1, go. They was on their way to China, right? Um, I mean, it's been like, whoa, it's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my baby. Our baby got in trouble. Artificial intelligence. Duh. Guys, <laughs> 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 I like his grandma. His grandma's sweet. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. I wish they would release this whole damn song on iTunes. I mean, I've heard the whole song thanks to YouTube, but I want to go on Apple Music, thank you very much, and download the song on Apple Music, thank you very much. But iTunes being like bullshit and fuck you and iTunes, like, mm, just put the song on there. Also, hats to this nice.
Are you hungry? <laughs> but your stomach. Yeah. Like his bodyguard or some shit. Well, the kid's sweet, though. Not a bomb or anything, is there? <laughs> and there goes Ari. Dragon Dine, of course. Wasn't that the guy? <laughs> I'm worried about a damn farewell concert. This is the Backstreet Boys and Sync. <laughs> or like any other boy band. <laughs> you know he's coming. He's already there, probably. Hmm. So we don't even know what set him off to do this. It could be because he's been disinterested in the Hmm. Do you have a, the audacity to be a dick? Oh my god, Ari, you look so good. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> so this is when we'll find out if he's hesitant. Oh Oh. 
có lỗ They just instantly gave me Ryuji kills, even though he's played by the same damn actor. <laughs> My heart. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ah. I can't. Is it really that necessary to have the swap team going? I mean, uh, mm. I just think he's only doing this because of attention. Oh, Haru, you try, baby. <laughs> Literally, that was Joker and Ryuji. Or maybe half. He just doesn't seem like a bad kid, though. You want to say him?
kids, you may want to watch out, though. But you give me one of those look at him over. Ain't that hole like a little too small though? I'm just like. Shoot him in the leg or something. I don't know. He needs surgery, don't you? Sure. No one give a fuck about the damn Farewell concert. Shoot him! <laughs> oh my god. Probably not even real. Of course. <laughs> oh, hard. Thank God. Don't.
Oh, but I'm feeling them. But it is what it is, right? Sweet moment between these two guys, and then <laughs> that's the end of the fucking up each <laughs> Oh my god, for a return, this was a good episode. I don't know if it was my favorite because I think number two is my personal favorite until we get into like four to 11 to see how it's gonna get better and better. But like, the biggest thing is. When we learned a little bit about the stuff that Daisuke said about Haru, I think it was like in episode two, I was like, are we ever really going to see that? And I wasn't expecting this to happen in episode three. But thank you. Oh my God. Because, oh God, I can't. But like that, ultimately at the end of the day, that gave me Ryuji feels. Like so much Ryuji feels. And it's not just because, yes, Haru and Ryuji are voiced by the same actor, Mamoru. It's just the vibes and the way you feel about it and the fact is that he was so torn by this and still upset about it, but not as much, but he still gets triggered by it, even holding a gun and pointing it at someone because he doesn't want to relive that. But holding that gun, you're reliving it almost like every single freaking day. But I mean, slowly but surely, he is getting out of it. It just takes time. I, I would like to maybe see him go... Um, either into therapy or possibly counseling, maybe. Uh, hell, maybe even continue talking to freaking uh, Dice K's grandma because, I mean, his grandma was, like, so freaking adorable. A little strict. Kind of reminds me of, um... It's not... It, the lady from Oran High School Host Club who was very, like, strict with Tomiki. I don't think that was his grandma. I think that was his maid or, like, yeah, yeah, I think that was his maid. I don't remember. I have to go back and look. Um... And how, like, she do it because Daisuke's grandma was hella strict when it came to Daisuke. But, I mean, it's cute. I mean, to be, like, to finally have this show freaking continue after being on a, like, 90-day hiatus because of Corona and to finally see these characters come back, even though it's been a while since I've watched episode one and episode two, but to just finally have these two guys back in my life, like, I can't. I mean, I think I just, like, I mean, we all know I fell in love with Daisuke episode fucking one. But I think, yeah, by the end of episode one, I also fell in love with Haru. But this really made me honestly sympathize with Haru and adore Haru a lot more. I mean, he's just, he's a cutie patootie. And you gotta love him. And he's like an adorable baby. I mean, come on. Did you see the way he blushed in episode two? I mean, come on. Man. He's so funny. I just want to cuddle him and everything, but I, I mean, like, I, I just hope that, you know, in this episode, at least he took a shower, I mean, because episode two is still my favorite episode with that ish, like, I can't, like, that ish had me rolling for, like, two weeks straight after that episode aired, but other than that, guys, that was my reaction to be towards episode three of The Millionaire Detective. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode four. Bye, guys!